Hi, welcome to Brain Hub. This is grade 9 biology lecture, first chapter, nutrients and digestive system. In this chapter, we are going to divide work into two parts. First part, nutrients, where we are going to study types of nutrients and tests that identify each type. While in digestive system, we are going to define digestive system study organs and enzymes so let's start starting by nutrients what are nutrients they are any substance that plants or animal needs in order to live and grow types of nutrients are sugar protein fat vitamins and water we can divide food into two kinds organic and mainly composed of carbon and hydrogen and inorganic inorganic like mineral salts فينا نقول عن like magnesium ion like zinc ion calcium ion organic like sugar protein fat and vitamins so a type of food rich in sugar الخبز فواكه will vegetables contain sugar where we can find protein protein are found mainly in meat fish chicken and eggs Fat, like oil, like milk contain fat, uh, cheese, and vitamins are mainly found in vegetables and fruit. So, holy basic types of nutrients that we are responsible of for birthday. Sugar, starting with sugar. So, sugar are divided into three types. First type, monosaccharide. Second type disaccharide and third type polysaccharide. So monosaccharide means formed of one one sugar. Disaccharide two sugars. Two molecules. Polysaccharide three and above. So monosaccharide we have three types. Glucose fructose and galactose as you can see fructose and galactose while disaccharide we have maltose sucrose and lactose come in in this figure maltose sucrose and lactose maltose مثل ما قلنا انه هي disaccharide disaccharide يعني formed of two molecules the molecules اللي هي مؤلفه منهم هن glucose and glucose so two molecules of glucose بيعمل one maltose one molecule of glucose and one molecule fructose بيعمل sucrose one molecule of glucose one molecule galactose بيعمل lactose so disaccharides اللي هن double sugar مألفين من double monosaccharide يا أما glucose مع fructose يا أما glucose مع galactose يا أما glucose مع another glucose مثلا What about polysaccharides? Polysaccharides هن complex sugar like starch starch موجود كتير in bread 
and potato. Starch, مثل ما عم نشوف, it's a long chain, مألفة من so many molecules of glucose. So starch are repeat starch are different molecules of glucose so a chain of glucose is about the asama into disaccharide which here come in here a chain of maltose and maltose is about the asama of glucose Simple glucose, two glucose. Biamalo, maltose. Chain of glucose, au maltose. Tartine, starch. And the bad, a main idea, clear him. اللي هي referring لل mono with disaccharide glucose with fructose and galactose and maltose and lactose except sucrose منسميون reducing sugar so note هي انو glucose fructose Galactose, lactose, and maltose. Holy Minsamion reducing sugar. Yani Bitaria Tenyi, simple sugar plus double. Except, sorry, except sucrose. Hene had the definition lal reducing sugar. So, holy hene. Protein. Simplest form of protein is amino acid. So simplest form, complex here protein. After digestion, last, last and simplest form is amino acid. We have 20 amino acid, 20 different amino acid. I keep not going to But we need to know, uh, no. amino acid, once linked into a chain, we call it a peptide. More than one peptide linked to each other, dipeptide. More than one dipeptide, we call it a polypeptide. And then the complex form of polypeptides is more protein. So. Simple, هي amino acid, linked peptide, and the complex amino uh, protein. Fat. Lipids are formed of fatty acids and glycerol. So easy. The fat. أو اللي هي lipid هي formed of one glycerol and three chain of fatty acids هلأ how to, how to identify repeat هلأ how to identify each type if it is found in repeat 
How to identify what type of nutrients is in this food? So normal food tests. We are responsible about four food tests, for exams. Iodine test, how we for starch identification. يعني potato or bread. نعرفه نحن نعرف إنه فيه starch. بس how to prove, how to identify إنه فيه starch. نعمل iodine test. شو ال iodine test? هو a solution عنده brown orange coloration. Once بتنحط على أي medium containing starch, it turns dark blue. بيتغير لونه بصير dark blue. بس شوف dark blue يعني هيدا ال هيدا ال ال ااا هاي ال piece of bread contains starch. فهلينج تست. أو ممكن نلاقي بعض الكتب بنديكت سوليوشن لأنهم عندهم سيم ايم إنه نحن نشوف إذا هذا الـ type of food containing reducing sugar أو لا شو هن reducing sugar بس هيك revision reducing sugar هن مونو و disaccharides except sucrose فإذا لنعرف إذا في reducing sugar in a type of food معين نأخذ الإجزامبل مثلا إذا عندي test tube حطيت بقلبه ملك الملك في بقلبه لاكتوز اند جالاكتوز اللي هن ريديوسينج شوجر انا بعرفهم انه هن ريديوسينج شوجر كيف ممكن اكد هذا الشيء بعمل الفهلينج تيست سو so, بحط 2 دروبس 2 تو 3 دروبس اوف فهلينج سوليوشن على الملك بس بد... في عندي نوت هون انه بريزنس اوف هيت يعني لازم يكون في هيت تحت كرمال الرياكشن تيكس بليس فإذا after a while بصير في عندي brick red precipitate هذا ال precipitate تعني إنه هذا ال type of food في بقلبه reducing sugar بايرت تيست بايرت تيست هو for protein identification لنعرف إذا الأكل فيها بروتين أو لا So لناخد شقفة chicken مثلا chicken نحنا بنعرف إنه هو في بقلبه بروتين how to identify that it contains protein نعمل البيرت تيست البيرت تيست basic color لقلو هو light light blue and the presence of protein it turns into violet so بحط two drops of بيرت solution اللي عنده after a while بتحول معي ل violet تعمل coloration violet بعرف إنه هذا الفض اللي أنا عم بستعمله contains protein. Rubbing test اللي هو last test اللي أنتم مسؤولين عنه أكيد. Rubbing test هو مثل إذا بنحط drops of oil على piece of paper دغري it turns into a transparent spot أو translucent spot اسمه. مثل الكيس لما بنستعمل الورقة والمنقوشة. المنقوشة after a while بنطلع على الورقة نحن بنلاقيها عملت عملت spot transparent. So هيك بنعرف إنه المنقوشة في بقلبها هلا حنحضر فيديو بخلينا نشوف كل تيست من هولي كيف يعمل التشينج ان كولوريشن Let's start with the iodine test which is the test for starch First take your iodine solution and add it drop wise to each of your samples Notice that the iodine is a kind of orangey color and when we add it into our samples that orangey color remains until we add it to the starch solution and there's a clear blue black change in color We continue adding this to all of our samples and amongst all of them starch is the only one that shows a positive result. So to summarize, we use iodine to test for the presence of starch. You add a drop wise to each of your samples and it turns blue black if starch is present. Next, let's look at the Biorett test for the presence of proteins. Take your Biorett solution and add a drop wise to each of the samples. If we give it some time for the reaction to take place, we can see in the egg white it turns a sort of purplish violet color, and that suggests that protein is present. So to summarize, use Biorett solution to test for the presence of proteins, add a drop wise to your samples, and it'll turn purple or lilac color if protein is present. The Benedict's test is the test for reducing sugars. Glucose is an example of a reducing sugar. First, you take your Benedict's reagent and you add a drop wise to each of your samples. 
It's a good idea to label each of your samples for this test because you're going to need to put them into a water bath and they might get mixed up. For your water bath there's a number of ways to do it but the easiest way is to just boil the kettle and fill up a beaker with hot water. Put each of your samples into the water bath and then wait for a while. It does take some time for a reaction to occur, but if we watch this speed it up, you can see that one of our samples is clearly turning a kind of yellowy orange colour, and this indicates the presence of a reducing sugar. When we put them back into the test tube rack, we can see the fruit juice is the only one that's actually reacted to this, suggesting that it contains reducing sugars. So, to summarise, we use Benedict's reagent to test for the presence of reducing sugars. Add several drops to your samples and then put them into a water bath. Depending on how much reducing sugar is present, it'll first turn green, then yellow, then orange, and it could form a brick red precipitate if there is a lot of sugar present. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow us.